Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts. It's time now for me to answer your questions, everybody. A couple days ago, I uploaded a video announcing I was doing another Q&A because I hit the milestone of 8,000 subscribers. Thank you once again for helping me reach that milestone. I got all the questions that I saw in the comment section of the video. So if you did post a question and it's not among all the questions I'm about to answer right now, if your question's not here, I'm very, very sorry. YouTube's kind of weird like that. But anyways, that further ado, let's get into it now. These questions are all out of order. They're just all over the place. So we're going to start off here with the first question actually the first two questions coming from the autistic skull demo his first question is what's the main reason you stop doing album reviews and will you ever do them again in case you don't know on my old channel back in the day as i say i used to review just metal albums metal music i did a bunch of album reviews and the main reason why i quit i said it in my announcement video when i announced i was quitting back in 2014 from that older channel that I got bored. It just got really repetitive and I just felt like that I couldn't really add much to my album reviews. It got to a point where I felt like I was repeating myself for albums that I liked and for albums I didn't like. There's no real variety in reviewing metal records. There's obviously a bunch of variety of types of metal, but I just got really bored and I just got frustrated with it. So I wanted to quit and move on to something. And people can say reactions are repetitive, but there's so many different types of movies and genres and video games and TV shows. There's a lot of variety in reactions, uh, reacting and reactions. So that's why I went this direction. That's why I stopped doing album reviews because I felt like there was, n there was not really more I could add to the channel per se. So there you go. The second question which you ha uh, that you asked... Pfft, English. Which of these games are you most looking forward to? Battlefield 1, Skyrim Remastered, or Deus Ex Mankind Divided? My most anticipated, I'm looking forward to out of the three you mentioned is Battlefield 1. Skyrim Remastered, I guess, but I'm not really too excited for the remastered version of the game. I, I prefer a new game in the Elder Scrolls series, but uh, in Deus Ex, I've never played a Deus Ex game, so I have no idea. But Battlefield 1, that game looks phenomenal, going back to World War 1, going back to boots on the ground, and going back to simpler things. Obviously, there'll be, there's obviously going to be a lot of variety in the game, but I'm more excited for Battlefield 1 because it's a brand new game that I'm excited for, and I've loved the Battlefield series so far. Let's continue on. Thank you for the questions. To Kevin Clark, what games are you looking forward to from this year and next year? This year, I'm looking forward to Titanfall 2, Battlefield 1, um, Gears of War 4, um, Batman Return to Arkham, which comes out in August, I believe. And I think that's the only ones I'm really excited about. Now, next year... Um, Next year, I'm trying to think, what is coming out next year? Maybe Scalebound, which is that game they announced for uh, uh, for Xbox One exclusive. I believe it's exclusive. Uh, Kingdom Hearts 3, which is coming to Xbox One. Hopefully that comes out next year. Hoping Kingdom Hearts 3 comes out next year. Um, uh, I, uh, Halo 6 probably won't come out next year. Um, I'm not really sure. I'm hoping that we'll get more information maybe uh, closer to the end of this year for games coming out next year. But those are the ones off the top of my head. That I'm excited for. Thank you so much for the question, Kevin. Next up from Incredible Greek Media. What is up, man? Do you think the entire third season of The Flash will be based on will based it will be based in on Flashpoint Paradox? And how do you think it will be different from the comic books and animated movie? Um, I don't think the entire uh, third season is going to be based on the Flashpoint Paradox. I think that we'll see a bunch of episodes at the beginning of the season based in the Flashpoint. Maybe the four-part crossover is to fix the Flashpoint. Maybe that's why there's a big four-part crossover because Flash has infiltrated Supergirl's Earth, which is another Earth than Arrowverse, Arrow, Flash, Legends. So Supergirl is over here in another Earth. So maybe the reason why all four shows are coming together for the crossover this year is to fix the Flashpoint. That may be when it will change. Maybe the mid-season finale, the next episode after the crossover, Flash will be reset and then things will start going to motion of what the rest of the season will be in terms of back on the normal timeline. My theory, I don't think the entire season will be based in Flashpoint. How will it be different? We we, we will not see Thomas, uh, Thomas Wayne's version of Batman. We will, not, we will not see Flashpoint Batman. They'll probably give us different versions of villains we've probably seen from or just different versions of characters being played by different people i'm not really sure but we're we're definitely not getting thomas wayne batman this is not going to happen um but i don't know i'm excited to see i mean when we hear more casting information revolving around season three of flash more casting of who's playing what 
then maybe we get kind of a sense of how this flashpoint paradox is going to go. But until then, got no clue. Thank you so much for the question, man. I cannot wait for the third season of The Flash. Next up, AR Studios. What are your thoughts on Spider-Man PS4? It looks good. I actually watched the live stream to the PlayStation conference. That's why I didn't upload any reactions to the PlayStation conference because I watched the entire thing. Um, I'm kind of bummed that it's a PS4 exclusive, or at least that's what they're alluding to, is that it's going to be a PS4 exclusive. If it came to Xbox One, yes! But since it's not coming to Xbox One, what we're kind of theorizing here, I, I guess it's cool. I guess I'll check out a live stream or something like that, but, um, you know, that that's really it. <laughs> if it comes to Xbox One, I'll definitely be more excited, but it doesn't seem like it will. So, thank you so much for the question. Kid DeCosta98. What is your favorite thing about the Marvel Universe and the DC Universe? Now, I'm wondering if you're asking about the Marvel Cinematic Universe and the DC Extended Cinematic Universe. If that's what you're asking, I'll, I'll answer it that way because I'm assuming that's what you're referring to. Marvel Universe is probably the relationship between all the characters for the Marvel side because seeing Civil War, Captain America Civil War, seeing Iron Man and Captain America go at each other seeing all these Avengers, seeing all these, you know, main key people in the Marvel Universe, whether they have their own standalone films or whether they're involved with these other big franchises, seeing them all go head to head, and it's, it's, it's insane. And just seeing the relationships and how they built over the course of all these years in these films. For DC, I just love the fact that it's going a different direction in terms of it's getting darker. It's trying to take itself more seriously. Um... And obviously, Ben Affleck as Batman is probably the, the the best thing that has happened in the DC Extended Cinematic Universe. Um, so that's the way I interpret it, how you ask the question. Thank you so much for the question. Next up, we have Stephen Nunny. This is one of my personal favorite questions that have been asked during this Q&A. So, Stephen, you did a great job. I love this question. If you could only watch one, act in one, and forget about one what we do out of Arrow, Flash, Supergirl. So I have to pick one I'll watch, pick one I'll forget, and pick one I'll act in. So that's a really good question. By the way, sorry I couldn't word this any better. Love your natural reactions. You worded it great, and thank you so much for liking my videos. But, okay, this is easy. I would watch Arrow, act in The Flash, and forget Supergirl. That's kind of harsh. People are like, well, what, Arrow sucks. Look, I spent four years at Arrow. I am disappointed in season four. I mean, it had its highs and lows, but I feel like that I'm I'm intrigued for what they're going to do in season five in terms of the two casting they've done with Wild Dog and Vigilante, two more heroes or two more anti-heroes into the mix. Um, Supergirl, I, I could forget because it's only been one season and it... I'm, I'm hoping season two will make it grow in terms of my excitement. I mean, I'm, I'm already excited for season two, but I'm hoping that with Superman and the fact that they could merge her Earth with Arrowverse could make it even way better. But for right now, watch Arrow, act in Flash, because I love The Flash. It's my personal favorite show out of all four shows from all the DC stuff. Supergirl, Legends, Arrow, Flash. Flash is my personal favorite at this particular moment. Um, and I could forget Supergirl, but I'm I'm hoping that my answer will change when we get into the new seasons. Maybe I'll flip it to where I want to act in Supergirl and I want to watch Flash and forget Arrow. I don't know what's going to happen. We'll see what happens. But thank you so much for the question. I love that question so much. Next up, Liam um, Liam Pritchard. Probably, uh, if I mispronounce your last name, sorry. Great channel, Chainsaw. What do you like better, BVS or Civil War? And what do you have planned for your channel in the future? Well, to answer your first question, what I like better, BVS or Civil War? I personally like Civil War better, but don't get me wrong. I love Batman v Superman. I know a lot of people had issues with it. I, I have issues with it. There are problems with the film. I do see and I do acknowledge there are problems with the film, but I still love Batman vs. Superman, and I cannot wait for that Ultimate Edition. I'm going to get it digitally when it comes out and watch that three-hour cut of that film. But personally, Civil War is better because they have spent more time with these characters. I've spent more time with these characters, and they have spent more time building the relationships with these characters. So Civil War, to me, is a personally a better film, and I enjoy it more. I like it better. But Batman vs. Superman is still a film I really do enjoy, and I cannot wait to see a three-hour cut. And I'm hoping that the three-hour version, the Ultimate Edition, will make me even enjoy it better. What do I have planned for the channel in the future? Not really plans. Um, just continue making videos. I hope to get back into doing more podcasts. 
uh, on the weekends. Like, you know, I used to do a podcast every weekend, every Saturday, a podcast would go up. That's changed, obviously, but I'm hoping to get back to that, but I have nothing really planned. I'm more focused on moving. I'll be moving out of here into my own house. That's what I'm more focused on. Uh, but when that happens, after I move, there's no real big plans. Not yet. I, I don't know anything I could do. I'm just going to continue to make content, continue to make my videos, and that's really it. So thank you so much for the two questions. Move on here. To Randy K, two questions. What is your all-time favorite album? Metallica's Master of Puppets, hands down. Number two, have you ever smoked? Are you a smoker? I am not a smoker. I can't stand cigarette smoke. Um, it has caused a lot of issues between me and some friends of mine. And it's to get a little personal, it's actually caused issues with me uh, looking, trying to possibly meet new people and possibly meet a new girl and maybe get a relationship because the past... I would say probably two girls that I've met uh, through Facebook, through other friends and stuff like that. Um, the past two girls, I can think off the top of my head, are smokers, and it turned me off. And I just can't, I can't be in the same room, and I, I can't, obviously, I will not be in a relationship with a girl who smokes. I can't stand it. So, uh, yeah, not a smoker, never will be, never, ever. Thank you so much for the two questions, man. Next up, these are two really weird questions, but I'm going to answer them anyways, because I... I didn't want to leave it out because it would have been mean just to leave it out because it's weird. Uh, two questions from, I have no idea how to pronounce that name. I'm very, very sorry. What do you think about Russia? Would you like to go there? P.S. By the way, we have our own comic publisher bubble. What I think about Russia, I got really no thoughts about Russia. I don't really pay attention to politics and all that kind of stuff. So don't think I'm going to start going off on a rant here about Russia or something. I don't know. Uh, I don't have, really have a lot of thoughts about Russia. Um, would I like to go there? Maybe. Um, but I got a lot of stuff going on and, um, uh, I don't like to travel that much. Not really. Um, especially out of the country. Uh, you know, I, I've, I've only done that like twice to the Bahamas and that's not really out of the country. Just going to an Island. I mean, Russia would be really different than the Bahamas for sure. But, um, kind of weird questions, but, um, there you go. I, I, I have no issues with Russia. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, we're going to continue here. Uh, thanks so much for the questions. Number uh, two questions here from KMWJ978. Number one, how would you rank this DC CW shows, including Supergirl? And number two, what's your favorite episode of The Flash? So the answer to your first question is how would I rank the DC CW shows? Flash number one. Number one. Number two, Legends. Number three, Arrow, because it's had four seasons. But I have to give Legends number two, at least in this most recent seasons, if you're including all of like all the seasons they've had, okay, let's just go all seasons they've had. Let, let, restart over, restart over. All the seasons they have had on the CW, or at least all these DC shows, including Supergirl, all the seasons. So we're not just including the past season, just all of them. For two seasons of Flash, number one, number one show. Four seasons of Arrow, Arrow number two, Arrow number two. For the one season of Legends, number three. One season of Supergirl, number four. Okay, I believe that Supergirl will probably bump it up, maybe above Legends. Maybe Legends will bump up uh, above Arrow next seasons. I don't know, but that's it. Flash number one, Arrow number two, three Legends, four Supergirl. I love Supergirl, love the show, but that's how I rank them uh, so far with all the seasons they've done so far, all the shows. Number two, what's your favorite episode of The Flash? I personally got to give it to the final episode um, of the, the, the season finale for season two of Flash. The whole thing. Not going to go into spoilers, but Zoom, the reveal of Jay Garrick, my personal favorite episode because they've done, they did so much in that episode. It was ridiculous. Thank you so much for the two questions, man. Let's continue on. Jack, Jack 14 has two questions. What is the most overrated superhero movie in your opinion? And number two, what is also the most underrated? The overrated superhero movie... That's a really hard question. Um, overrated. I, I don't really know. I mean, people give so much praise to Spider-Man 2, the one with Doc Ock, which was, I think, uh, Sam Raimi. I think that's the guy who directed the original Spider-Man films. I love the film Spider-Man 2, but I don't consider it one of the greatest superhero movies of all time. But that's just me personally. Uh, it's a good film. Don't get me wrong, but I guess maybe that that's the one I would pick. 
most underrated. A lot of people don't like the film because they really don't know the story. They really don't know the characters, but Watchmen. Um, I know there are people who love the film. And if you go to certain people and you go to certain, you know, websites and, you know, all this stuff and people that talk about it, they praise the film to high heavens. But the majority of normal audiences, you know, normal people like regular audience goers, they don't understand how great Watchmen is as a comic book movie. So I would say that is my most underrated out of all of them. So thank you so much for the two questions. Let's continue on. Black Bolt has a great question. You believe? Do you believe the rights of the, the Fantastic Four will return in the Marvel Cinematic Universe? I believe at some point, yes, because they said that they want to do another. They want to do another one, another movie with the cast from the Josh Trank Fantastic Four film that was a complete bomb across um, bomb critic wise, bomb box office numbers, money wise. So I think Fantastic Four will return. Now, when will they return? That's a that's a question. That's a completely different question because I feel like it could be tomorrow. It could be a couple years down the road because that, because they have to have a movie in production and out by a certain point in the contract or else the rights do go back to Marvel. So maybe Fantastic Four will just let the rights go out and they'll get handed back to Marvel in a couple of years. Maybe they'll make a deal where they can do the trade then or something like that. But Hopefully soon, Black Bolt. Hopefully soon. Thank you so much for the question. Joe Mason Gaming. Out of all the superhero comic book movies coming out over the upcoming years, which one are you the most slash least looking forward to and why? Congrats on 8K subs. Thank you so much for that. Um, out of all the movies coming up, uh, comic book movies coming up the upcoming years, what am I most and least looking forward to? What I'm most looking forward to Definitely has to be Justice League because I want to see how this movie turns out. I'm the most excited for that because I want to see all these DC characters together and I can't wait to see how that's going to look. So, yes, Infinity War Part 1 and 2, whatever they're going to be called, they're going to be retitled. I'm so excited for those films. But I'm most excited for Justice League because we've never seen Justice League live action before. So I really am looking forward to that. What I'm least looking forward to is in the DC Universe as well, Cyborg. As of right now, I am least excited for that character because we've only seen a little bit of him in Batman v Superman, but maybe in Justice League, maybe that'll turn around. Maybe my answer to your question when Justice League comes out is it's not going to be Cyborg. It's my least uh, looking forward to because maybe I'll really enjoy the actor who plays him and maybe I'll enjoy the interpretation and I can't wait for Cyborg. But for right now, most excited for Justice League, least Cyborg. So there you have it. Thank you so much for the two questions or question. Billy the Kid Lawrence, two questions. What is your dream? What is your dream crossover movie? Justice League and Avengers. I know that's a cheap question, Marvel and DC, but can you imagine Avengers versus Justice League or Avengers Justice League together going against a threat? Oh, <laughs> amazing! I would love that so much. So yeah, that's a dream crossover for sure. It's so such an easy answer, but it's the truth. Uh, second question, in regards to Kingdom Hearts, who is your favorite character? Aside from Disney and Final Fantasy, an original KH character, Sora. Has to be. I know he's the main character. It's an easy answer to give as well, but I love Sora so much. That's why I cannot wait for Kingdom Hearts 3 because he looks so good and seeing him in gameplay is phenomenal. I just love that character so much. He's just, he's such a fun guy, you know? I just love how he's portrayed in the Kingdom Hearts 1, especially in Kingdom Hearts 2. I loved playing as Sora in Kingdom Hearts 2 for sure. I just really love that world and I can't wait to go back. Thank you so much for the two questions, Billy. From from XKiller744, question, are you ever going to play video games on your channel? No. I kind of have, but no, um, not anymore. I did live stream on Twitch at a point, and I actually made a kind of highlight reel of when I was replaying Batman Arkham Knight on Twitch, and I uploaded that video to YouTube. It got a couple of, it got over a hundred views, I think, and it got a couple of dislikes um, from people, which I don't care about dislikes. That doesn't bother me, but uh, it just shows that you know people weren't really excited. They really didn't care. Um, and at that point, when I was getting into Twitch streaming, I was post daily on my channel a like 10 second video or something saying, I'm live on Twitch, come check me out. And it showed me that my audience who has subscribed to my channel, the majority of people that come to my channel, don't seem to be interested in seeing me play video games. And I love playing video games, but at the same time, if I want to play video games on Twitch or whatever, live streaming, it, it's 
it, it takes the fun away a little bit because I'm not really focused on the game. I'm more focused on the chat and people talking to me and asking questions and, on Twitch. So, no, I, I don't think I'm ever going to do it ever again. I did it at a point. It was fun at the time, but looking back on it, uh, I think I made the right decision and moving on from that. So, But thank you so much for the question. Um, you know, I wish I could have sticked with it, but, you know, I got other stuff going on. And, and it was time-consuming trying to on top of working full time and making reactions and all that kind of stuff and reviews from time to time for movies to do live streaming daily. It's, it's a little too much for me personally. I believe this, the, this actually, no, we got a couple more questions. Yeah, we got, we got a couple more ultra Marvel X chainsaw reacts. What made you want to start YouTube? Congrats on 8,000 subs to start this. I'm going to answer the question about making this channel. Cause I've been on YouTube since 2009 um, but what made me want to start YouTube reacting is I got inspired by Akasan and watching other people do reacting channel, uh, make reactions back in 2014. Okay, I've been around since October of 2014 before a lot of these people that you, if you, if you watch a lot of reactors on YouTube, I've been around for probably, I've been around longer than three fourths of them if you watch a bunch of them. I've been around since October 2014 before reacting blew up, okay, when it, before it got really big like it is now. I've been here for a long time. And I'm here to stay. Um, but what made me want to start is I got inspired. I thought I wanted to try it out. I did. I liked it. And I started this channel up. I didn't expect it to go anywhere. And it, you know, I've gotten a lot of success from it. And I really like doing it. But uh, I, I got inspired. I wanted to try something different than what I was doing before. So I did it. I enjoyed it. And here I am. Thank you so much for the question, man. Two questions from the Prometheus. Number one, do you like Between the Buried and Me self-titled debut record? Um, I do. Uh, I, I personally enjoy their later albums more. Colors. Um, I'm trying to think. Hypersleep, Dialogues. I'm trying to think what, uh, what their other albums are called because I'm blanking on that because I haven't listened to Between the Buried and Me in a bit. Um, but yes, I do like their self-titled, but I like their later records even better. Colors is one of my personal favorite records, not just from Between the Buried and Me, but of all time. I love that album so much. Question number two from the Prometheus. What are you most excited for? COD Infinite Warfare or Titanfall 2 and why? I am more excited for Titanfall 2 because the game looks a lot better than the first game and I'm excited for Campaign. I really like that. I played a lot of Call of Duty games. I made my reaction to the Infinite Warfare reveal trailer. I am i didn't like it. I got a bunch of hate for it, but I just don't like it. I don't like the fact that Call of Duty is just continuing to push into the... Um, into the... Uh, you know, futuristic stuff. It just, it just, it's not appealing. But Titanfall 2, the fact that the gameplay looks great, the um, the campaign, I'm really intrigued for finally a campaign to play in Titanfall 2. So yes, I'm more excited for Titanfall 2 because it just looks like it's going to be a richer experience. And Call of Duty Infinite Warfare kind of reminds me of the past couple of games that I've already played from Call of Duty. So I'm hoping that Titanfall 2 will... Um, you know, hold me off from not getting Call, uh, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. I know it's coming bundled with the Modern Warfare Remastered, but it's not worth spending $80 to get that remastered version when I can just wait for them to eventually release uh, Modern Warfare Remastered by itself, because they will. You know how they are. Thank you so much for the two questions. Is this the last question? Yes, last final question. Stick Gaming. I remember finding you from your Trivium reaction video from about a year ago. Yeah, that was a good video. I really enjoyed making that reaction to a Trivium uh, song, um, Sons in the Snow, I believe. Yeah. So here's my question. What are some of your favorite bands, and have you seen any of the bands live? Yes, I've seen quite a few bands live. My personal favorite bands is Metallica. I've seen Metallica live. Great experience. It changed my life. I love Metallica so much. Number one favorite band, Metallica. Um... I've seen Trivium live. I think I've seen them twice. Yes, twice. 2008 and 2014, I believe. Um, I think what else? Uh, All That Remains used to be one of my favorite bands. I saw them live, I think, twice as well. I've seen Ghost live. Amazing experience as well there. The one band that I really love and I really do enjoy, The Black Dahlia Murder, I've never seen them live, and I really want to see them live so bad. Another band, Silosis. I love Silosis, a great band. I use one of their songs as my intro, which I'm going to start adding in new intros, but uh, with different music choices. But uh, Silosis Mercy, that song from their latest record they did in 2015, I use that as my intro. Everyone's like, well, what's your intro? It's Silosis. I've never seen them live. I, w I could have seen them live, but unfortunately, they got into a bad accident and they were unable to make it on that tour. They were on that tour and I didn't know until after I bought the tickets and heard that they got replaced by another band because they got into a bad accident, which sucks. But I understand 
you know, they need to take care of themselves and not come play for me. Okay. <laughs> take care of yourselves first. Uh, in between the barrier to me, I answered that question earlier. I love between the barrier to me. I've seen them live. I think two or three times this point. Yeah. So, um, I've seen most of the bands I love. I mean, there's a lot of bands I, I do enjoy and I do love, but, um, out of the ones i top of my head, you know, I've seen most, uh, most of them live. I've seen a bunch of other bands that I do enjoy live, like After the Burial. Um, trying to think, uh, who else? Lamb of God. Um, what, uh, what other bands have I seen live? Um, yeah, I mean, I've seen a bunch of them. I, I have to go back and look through all of them. I don't think what's up there. Glass Casket, Between the Buried and Me, Brave Young, Torch Runner. I don't know those bands but yeah i've seen a bunch of bands live and um I'm, I'm not really a person who goes out to concerts anymore if i if i still went to concerts like i used to a couple years ago i would have seen a bunch more that i could have listed here but there you go thank you so much for watching guys 25 minutes long man this video is really long my throat's actually starting to hurt because i'm just rambling and rambling and rambling and talking and talking and talking but thank you so much for asking your questions guys i really did enjoy making this video hope you guys enjoyed this video Thank you so much for watching. There you go, guys. Thank you so much for posting questions. I will see you guys soon with another video. Peace out.